Telemachus was a monk that lived in Italy and uh, about 200 AD when uh, the Colosseums of Rome were going at pretty much full blast. And if you've seen the movie The Gladiator, you know what I'm talking about. They went in there and fought to the death. It was brutal. And of course, hundreds of thousands of Christians were also put to death uh, by the lions in, these, uh, in the Colosseum. Telemachus was a monk and he was an elderly man and he worshiped the Lord, he loved the Lord, and uh, he just enjoyed living in the country, tending his flower garden. One morning, God spoke to him and said, Telemachus, I want you to take a little trip to the city of Rome. And he protested, Lord, you know I don't like being around a lot of people. I'd really prefer to stay here. And God said, I want you to go to Rome, Telemachus, for me. Found his way down to Rome, to the city of Rome, and he noticed these huge throngs of people going into the Colosseum. Then what in the world could be going on there? And so he got into the into the flow of the people and found himself sitting in the Colosseums of Rome and watching these gladiators slaughter each other. Two or three gladiators were put to death. He couldn't stand it any longer. And he stood up in the seat and he said, in the name of Christ, stop this madness. And the whole Colosseum grew silent. In the name of Jesus, stop this murder, he said. And the people said, who is this? Who is this person saying these things? He jumped from the stands right on down into the Colosseum and ran right up to one of the gladiators and somebody in the stands says, thrust him through, thrust the old man through. And they did, they thrust him through. And he lay there in the ground. The Colosseum was designed in such a way that you could hear a pin drop in that place if it was silent. You could literally hear crumpled paper if there was silence. There was total silence. When they saw the old man dying on the ground, there was total silence in the Colosseum, and he said it again, in the name of Christ, stop this. And the Colosseum remained silent for two or three minutes. Nobody said a word, and all of a sudden, one person got up out of the stands and walked towards the door. Then a number of other people got up all over the Colosseum. They began to exit it. And histories look back, historians look back on that occasion. This is when the games, when the gladiator games and the slaughter ended in the Colosseum of Rome. One man wouldn't deny the Lord, living by faith, trusting Christ, overturned the whole horrible business. Wow, remarkable story.